15 times. Hey, look. Tony Robbins. And he has a, a, a theory of, um, in terms of how you can be successful, why we're So I'm not going to talk about the individual things that we'll, uh, what we'll do because inevitably it's all the same thing in terms of we have a goal, we want to achieve it. So, like, so what it starts off with is you have a belief, so it's like a triangle, like so. It's a large belief, right? It starts off with your belief in what you can, you can do, so your actual belief. Um, inshallah, you know, may Allah help us all to, to realize that the world literally is here for us. And whenever you start to think or go into that direction of like, oh, I shouldn't be thinking about this, I should like focus more on Quran, I should do these kind of things. Think about, you know, the dua that which part of the Inshallah, you know, may Allah help us all to, to realize that the world literally is here for us. And whenever you start to think or go into that direction of like, oh, I shouldn't be thinking about this, I should like focus more on Quran, I should do these kind of things. Think about, you know, the dua that uh, is it Yusuf? The, the one in the kingdom? Suleiman, uh, so, so, he asked him. So, he said, he asked Allah, he said, give me a kingdom that no, that give me so much of the dunya that no one can have as much as this after me. Like, what, what kind of, I was not saying this is the case, but like kind of narcissistic or like um, dunya based material, materialistic dua is that? Because he knew the reality of what this dunya is. And he knew we can have it, but it's not being as hard to so when we can kind of connect with these kind of realities, we can start to like really excel, and really start to really start winning, inshallah. Um, so what I'm going to tie that into, inshallah, is also uh, for purpose on kind of whatever it is we do. So we've got different guys here, we've got musicians, got bloggers, got all these kind of different things. Out there. Um, it's almost irrelevant because like if you if you have that desire within you to do whatever it is, take pictures, make food, write blogs, sing songs, whatever it is, like that didn't come from you. Like you didn't just wake up one day. Like you have to understand where that came from and we all know that it came from Allah. So if Allah has given us something within us, an ability to sing, to articulate ourselves well, to um, express ourselves well, to, to be good on camera, then Allah has given you that ability and if you're not like killing it, if you're not like working super, super hard, like grinding every single day, are you not kind of throwing a gift back in Allah's face? For example, if I buy, you know, my friend Zayn here, so, you know, uh, shoes like there's a gift and it has an intended purpose so if I catch Zayn throwing them in the bin and like shooting threes with them messing around with them drinking out of them I'd be like okay you're using it but like that's not why I give you that gift I gave you them so you can look fresh so you can you know walk in them and, and, and keep your feet I've been there but it was a difficult trip to make um, you know in the midst of February because of the semester and a lot of other things that were going on but I did want to share with you all just a few reflections, and I hope that, inshallah, this advice uh, goes to heart. Number one, there's the new term of self-care, but it really means something so much more when you look in the sunnah of the Prophet in terms of taking care of yourself. 
while taking care of others? How did the Prophet Sallallahu manage being the most public figure of his time, while at the same time being a husband that could pay attention to details, um, you know, take care of his home, at the same time showing the love and compassion that he was able to, and not expanding all of his bandwidth outside of his home so that he still had so much to give, him, give of himself inside the home. And really what we learned from him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, first and foremost, is that he paid attention to whatever he was doing at that time. So yes, the Prophet was the most public and visible figure of his time, but when the Prophet, peace be upon him, got in his home and he was with his family, that's where he turned off all the technology in the, uh, in the you know, at least in the metaphorical sense, the Prophet did not maintain any connection to whatever he was doing at that time. So yes, the Prophet was the most public and visible figure of his time, but when the Prophet, peace be upon him, got in his home and he was with his family, that's where he turned off all the technology in the, uh, in the you know, at least in the metaphorical sense, the Prophet's life. You should know this. Oh! You should know this. Japan? <laughs> what? No. We had a conversation once. You said Japan's really cool. What? What? <laughs> What's his favorite color? Maybe. Red? No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what is it? Blue. Ah. Okay. Okay, that's um, If he could go to one place around the world, where would it be? What, to stay in forever? No, yeah, just visit. I should just visit everywhere, so. Dubai? Uh, I like it, but. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> what would it be? Top of North, this concept of light. Yeah. 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 It's a very, very spiritual concept. Is it possible for this light to be conveyed in a manner which is outward, in a manner which is physical? And the answer is yes, of course. We have this example in the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whose light used to physically shine on his face. But then we could all say, well, that's the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So what about us? What does this mean for me and my followers and the influence which I have with, with, with the fans and, and, and everything what's going on around. And I just want to invite you to think about one specific incident, which is an example of many. When the Prophet ﷺ used the media which was available at his time to spread this light in the form of a letter to the king of Oman, who was known as Julanda. So what happened, the Messenger ﷺ had this letter written and he stamped it himself and it was sent to Oman in the company of somebody this king of Oman, Al Julanda, as he was known, read this letter and he saw the light.